Hey everyone, Captain here to wish you a very happy holiday. Hope everyone is someplace nice and warm. And if it's too warm, hopefully it's warm and cool. And you're relaxing with loved ones and surrounded by cheer. Speaking of the holiday, let's turn our attention to one gorgeous George and hypothesize what he is doing for his holiday. I tried looking online to see if Richmond offers any sort of holiday meal for the homeless or anything like that. Uh, I haven't heard any news about him finding a place or anything, so it sounds like he's still uh, going from parking lot to parking lot, possibly, or possibly staying in hotels every now and again. So, could be a very cold and lonely holiday for him but I, I have to imagine Mike Saunders is a really nice guy so Mike Saunders might invite him to come and hang out at the meal that Mike is probably having and you know open his door and allow George to warm himself in the Saunders home and maybe sleep on the couch or something like that because Saunders is very generous and I don't even think that George would have to beg him to do that. I bet Saunders would just offer. He probably wouldn't need any any prompting or anything because that's the stand-up guy that Saunders is. He's, he's just a generous, good-hearted, kind person. I wanted to talk about one other thing very briefly. I've been thinking a lot lately about... Um, all the kind of weird speech ticks that George has and the the gaffes he has when he writes. I believe he said, and if anybody knows the definitive answer to this, please post it in the comments, but I'd love to just get more information on his education or lack thereof because, man, <laughs> sometimes when he talks, he sounds like a caveman. <laughs> And his writing, man, I feel like I wrote better when I was in uh, like third grade. I could have outwritten him. And he has the one of the worst grasps of the English language I think I've ever heard. The queen's not even dead and she's rolling over in her grave every time he opens his mouth to mas massacre the queen's own. But I think he said he said before that he... Uh, had a <laughs> something like a year he wrote the way he wrote it was year in half not year in year and a half it was year in half at community college or something like that I think, it, I think that was on his his uh, voice acting profile that we found a long time ago <laughs> so yeah I, I'd love to know what he studied there I'm sure it wasn't anything. Uh, I mean, I, I I find it hard to believe that he even went, but <laughs> he could have. He could. The, the perfect role for him is uh, if this was 15 years ago, however long ago it was, when those Geico caveman commercials were popular, <laughs> he would have been a perfect Geico caveman. Except uh, they would have had to change the script around because the cavemen in those commercials. They never actually sounded like one, but George, George could pull off the look <laughs> and the way they talk too. And it would be, it would be pretty hilarious. But anyway, uh, before I sign off, I just want to once again, wish everybody a happy holiday and say, um, man, it's been kind of a lonely, lonely year. It seems for George, he's had, uh, just a string of losses when it comes to um, dealing with certain people. Uh, he's got this goofy William Royster <laughs> name for me, and so it's kind of kind of amusing. Um, yeah. Anyhow. Oh yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to, to mention. Uh, not only did he not make any videos uh, when I, I gave him the opportunity to address me but, uh, but it looks like I ran him off of uh, the comments on Kev Kevin's channel too he hasn't made a comment there in a long time and I'm sure Kevin is happy uh, because Kevin doesn't want 
George harassing his fans. You know, uh, a lot of us po- post comments on Kevin's work, and um, I almost can imagine if Kevin had my email address, he'd probably send me a thank you note for running George out of there, so that uh, he's not harassing people that are enjoying the the various shows that are on that channel. Anyhow, that is all I got. Merry Christmas to everyone. Stay safe and stay happy and warm in your in your homes. This is the captain signing off. <laughs>